Hey guys, it's me, Derper Turtle, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make and collect every single sword in Terraria. To start off, you're going to probably be wanting to make a wooden sword. So, if you have cactus as your wood, then you need 10 cactus instead of 7. Every single wood sword requires seven of that wood. You can't replace it with other types. It's just seven of that wood, and then you'll be able to create any of the different kinds of swords that are made of wood. Next up is the tin and copper. These cost the same amount. Depending on your world, you're going to either get copper or tin, and what you can do is craft these using either five ingots on the copper or tin short sword or six ingots on the tin or copper broadsword and every other type of sword that you can make requires that you have eight for the broadsword and it costs six for the short sword so that's lead iron silver gold tungsten and platinum all of those are exactly the same. Only difference is the material being used. Next up is all of the phase blades. So these are pretty much just lightsabers. They're pretty cool. And these are crafted with 15 meteorite bars and 10 gemstones. So for purple, amethyst. For blue, it's going to be sapphire. For green, it's going to be emerald. For white, it's going to be diamond. For red, it's going to be ruby. And for orange, it's going to be amber. And for yellow, it's going to be topaz. Next up are kind of just the just random kind of swords that just are just made out of just kind of random things. If you have like a special bar or so, a special bar or something like that. First off, if you would like to make the blade of grass, you're going to need 12 jungle spores and 12 stingers. These are found in the jungle. If you would like the cobalt sword, you're going to need 10 cobalt ingots at an anvil. If you would like the light's bane, it's going to be 10 demonite ore. If you would like the blood butterer, you're going to need 10 hellstone bars. And if you would like the fiery great sword, you're going to need 20 hellstone bars. Next up, I'm going to be showing you all of the different swords that require either a mithril or orichicum sword. Oh, God. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to make all the different swords on either a mithril or orichicum anvil. So all of these cost 12 ingots of whatever type of sword you want. And you can make these on either one of those anvils, depending on which metal spawned in your world. And these are spawned in, well, these four are spawned in when you break either a demon altar or a crimson altar. You can also make a platinum sword, plate, 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 platinum. I believe it's platinum and it's 13 ingots. It's the same thing, but I forgot to include it. Um, Excalibur is 12 hollowed bars, and then chlorophyllite is going to be 12 chlorophyllite ingots, and you can also make a, a saber. Um, I forgot to include that sword as well, because it wasn't called a sword. <laughs> but it's exactly the same recipe. Next up are swords that require swords to be made. If you would like a phase saber, you're going to need a phase blade and 50 crystal shards. And you will need to make this at either a mithril or, or a chillum anvil. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you would like to make a knight's edge, you're going to need a light's bane or blood butcher, a marasma, blade of grass, and a fiery greatsword. And these will be crafted at a demon altar or a crimson altar. And those are found usually in their respective biomes. If you would like a true knight's edge, you're going to need a knight's edge, 20 soul of fright, 20 soul of might, and 20 soul of sight at a 
and mithril or the other metal anvil. If you would like true Excalibur, you're going to need Excalibur and 24 Clophrite um, iron bars, and this is going to be at the mithril anvil. If you would like the Terra Blade, you're going to need the True Knight's Edge and the True Excalibur at a mithril anvil. If you would like to make a Zenith, you're going to need a Terra Blade, Meow Mir, Star Wrath, Influx Waver, the Horseman's Blade, Seedler, Star Fury, Bee Keeper, Enchanted Sword, and a Copper Short Sword at a Mithril or Orchilium Anvil. And then you'll be able to make a Zenith, the best sword in the game, because it just, you know, shoots out swords, which is awesome. <laughs> If you want Meow Mir, it's a chance drop to get from the Moon Lord. If you would like the Star Wrath, it's also a drop from the Moon Lord. If you would like the Arc Halas, it is a drop from a Sword in Stone. It's just a rare drop. If you would like the Flying Dragon, you're going to have to kill Betsy, which is a boss from the giant gem that you get from the bartender. If you would like the Influx Waver, you're going to need to kill a Martian Saucer. If you would like a Christmas Tree Sword, you're going to have to kill Everscream. Psycho Knife is dropped by Psychos. If you would like the Starlight, it is dropped by the Empress of Light, a secret boss that you have to defeat inside one of the biomes where you find unicorns and you just have to kill a little fairy. If you would like the Horseman's Blade, you're going to have to kill the Pump King. If you would like the Flying Knife, it is a chance drop from a Hollowed Mimic. If you would like the Brand of the Inferno, it is dropped by Ogres. If you would like Blade Tongue, you're going to need to fish in the Crimson. If you would like the Siegler, it's a drop from Plantera. If you want the Frost Brand, it's going to be dropped by Ice Mimics. If you would like the Beam Sword, it's Armored Skeletons. If you would like the Cutlass, it's going to be dropped by most pirates. If you would like the Breaker Blade, it's going to be dropped by the Wall of Flesh. If you would like the Falcon Blade, it can be found in Iron and Mithril crates. If you would like the Beekeeper, it's dropped by the Queen Bee. If you would like the Bone Sword, it's going to be dropped by Skeleton. If you would like the to find locked gold chests and golden lock boxes, and it can have a rare chance to swan in those. If you would like an enchanted sword, you can either find them in golden or titanium crates or enchanted sword shrines. If you would like the star fury, you can find it inside of skyware chests and azure crates. If you would like the exotic sycamore. You're going to have to go to the die trader. If you would like a Terragrim, it can be spawned in when destroying an enchanted sword shrine. If you would like a bloody machete, it can be dropped by any weak enemy during a Halloween seasonal event. Um, you know, something less with less than 20 defense, 40 damage, and up to 5 silver of loot. So if it has anything less than that, then it can drop a bloody machete. It has a 1 in 2,000 chance, so you're probably not going to get this unless you just kind of grind during a Halloween event. If you would like a mandible blade, it has a 1 in 50 chance to be dropped by ant lion chargers and ant lion swarmers. If you would like an ice blade, it is found inside of ice chests, frozen chests, and boreal crates. If you would like a candy cane sword, it's found inside of presents obtained during Christmas. If you would like a katana, it's just going to be 10 gold from a traveling merchant. If you would like the Gladys, it is dropped by Hop Liddies. Well, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. And please subscribe, share, and do whatever you want to do. So, yeah. See ya.